laughing guys <laughs> so it's almost midnight and I'm kind of freaking out because I don't I don't have anything packed I'm gonna be in DC in less than 24 hours I'm gonna wake up very soon I don't know what I'm gonna play I'm probably gonna play blounds just because we're out here we roll in we're clowning and eh, we're fools so the plan is we're gonna go to Cedar Point. We're gonna go to Cedar Point in the morning. So we're gonna go to Cedar Point on Thursday. And then on Friday, we're gonna go to the open ceremony. We're gonna hang around. There's supposed to be a Pokemon Masters booth, which sounds super, super cool. So we'll go and do that. We'll check that out. They have the Sword and Shield demo, which is the same thing as NEIC, and you can check that out in my other vlog. Uh, Saturday is the um, Masters Open. Uh, I mean, I think all the opens are on Saturday, but needless to say, the Masters Open. And I'm excited to play because I, I hope I can really go, go ham this season. I wanted to last year, but I really got screwed over in quarter one. <laughs> it didn't gonna happen. It wasn't gonna happen. But it's really cool because there's no more quarters this season. Uh, Sunday we'll watch the finals and probably come home. So, uh, let's go! about to be open open ceremonies. I'm kind of freaking out because I'm not really sure like how we're gonna get through this entire line. That's like just to enter and we haven't even picked up our badges yet. So uh, hopefully we make it in time. <laughs> background music like this. It's like, it feels like sneaky and jazzy and I really like it. I need to get a seat for the opening ceremony, so here we go. <laughs> and a lot more space compared to last year, which I really like, so it's less cramped, because I felt like I was like hurtling over people for things. <laughs> I also thought it was really interesting. They have a lot of the uh, Pokemon Center pops available over here. A lot of these gallery figures. 
They have a lot of these gallery figures, and they have a whole bunch of these um, Pikachu pops, which is super cool. I actually was able to buy mine from GameStop earlier, but it's pretty neat. <laughs> I found this guy. He's pretty great, and I'm excited to um, bring him on my Pokemon adventure today. Um, we're, we're still deciding a name on him. His smile's pretty great. <laughs> badge and it's an explorer's guide and it's like the coolest thing ever I'm gonna treasure it very deeply but um pretty much like they have all these different places where you can get stamps from so like when you're in Washington DC when you go to like museums and stuff they have stamps for like scrapbooks and stuff like that but like they have stuff for the Pokemon Center we just got one for the first step um, and we're gonna get one for the prize wall right now and they have daily stamps too so I'm gonna try to fill this book out the best I can I want to get every single stamp so we're gonna do our best all right so I'm on my way to play Pokemon Masters um, I know it's like released in Australia I think right now so a lot of people kind of have already played it or figured out a way to play it um, but I haven't and I'm kind of excited I've, heard, I've, t I've talked to a couple people that have played it before and it's really interesting because a lot of like App games like that have a lot of microtransactions and like cooldowns where apparently this doesn't. So it's gonna be cool. I'm kind of excited for it. All right, so we finally made it to food. It was a little bit of a walk, almost like 15 minutes, but it's looks definitely like well worth it. Um, we went to um, Hill, Hill Country Barbecue Market and Hot Diggity Dog. This place is wicked cool. Um, there's like a lot of like, like, first of all, we're kind of like on this mid upstairs area and down below there's like a whole bunch of other places to eat. But when you get your food, I'll see if I can get some video of it. You pretty much you go up, you get your meat and then you get your sides and it's super quick. And let me tell you, this looks freaking delicious and we're gonna smash this. but we, we are on the hunt for bubble tea. I like woke up with just enough time to get ready and get to the venue and I still have a little time to spare um, but I think I'm just gonna relax at this point, stay the buff in, I'm gonna drink my juice and uh, yeah, we're gonna go get our bag checked and hit the venue. Sierra and I 
are in the same pod. Big Sam. Big Sam. Big Big Sam. Oh, it's gonna be Big Sam when I kick her butt. <laughs> Fighting okay, listen, we all remember what happened with the mud kit. Good thing I'm better at Pokemon than, uh, than Shiny Hunting. Than <laughs> Shiny Hunting. <laughs> Which is sad. No, I just made myself sad. Super awesome here. It's actually like a head judge out there, so we had a blast. Um, I definitely want to actually went up against um, Rush's Hard, which yes, such a good matchup. So hopefully, I just hit those for the rest of the day. And I need to go get my dice because I forgot my dice in the hotel room. So we're gonna sprint and see if we make it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Alright, I got my dice. We're good. I think I'm set for the rest of the day. Grab a little snacky poo. I think I have like about 10 minutes until the next round starts roughly. So I get a semi-leisure walk, but like a leisure walk while I'm in a panic because I'm not exactly sure uh I'm not gonna make it. Because they can't really tell me exactly what time the round ends, just in case you but anyways. See you after round two. That was so bad. That was so bad. <laughs> I had a really fun game with Andrew. It was my round two. I uh, played against Pikaron. And it was it was pretty good. It was a pretty good deck. And he drew very, very well. And I drew like doo doo. Um, he hit me with a judge in game one. And I was like, oof. And that not happened. And then he tag vaulted. Well, he dual captured or uh, custom captured my uh, Persian up. And then um, used his GX to knock out my uh, version and then one of my Bicep ones that had damage on the bench. And I was like, I can't be strong anymore. And then it got really sketchy and then I lost that game. And then the other game, I just I just drew, I just drew like doo doo. It was just bad, but it's okay. Uh, we're one one, it's a lot of fun. Um, so we'll see how uh, round three goes. Straight chilling. Washington DC with you to battle you. We should have. That would take a lot of money. Oh my goodness. God bless. Wow. And now we're with our hero against her best opponent ever. Shall she win? The end of my life. I don't like this I don't like it. It's okay, you get to buy me lunch. I do. So. I open my big mouth and <laughs> She's like, does winner or loser buy lunch? And I'm like, a winner because I'm winning. But joke's on you, I actually did win. I got free food. No. <laughs> I'm broke. I wasn't <laughs> Alright guys, it's been a hot minute since I did an update, but I am 3-3 right now, so I just have to win out. No biggie. Um, I can't stress the, enough that I um, should have played custom catchers. I don't know why I didn't. I'm so sorry, everybody. I've disappointed you. But <laughs> I'm waiting for my gal Sierra. She's like, I, can't, I don't think I can zoom on front cam, but she's doing super wicked good right now. She's 4 2? Four 4 1? 4 5. Yeah, I think she's 4 1 or 4 2. So she's like kicking booty right now. And I'm so excited for her. And I'm just kind of waiting for her to finish up because I want to know what happens. <laughs> But anyways, I'll see you on the flip side, guys. We got one more round today. We made it. Four, three. All I have to do is one more thing. All I have to do is just win two more games. That's it. That's one thing. It's not that hard, stupid. It's not <laughs> you gotta do it, too. <laughs> and you also owe me lunch. <laughs> Wait, what is your record? Oh, but anyways. So at least I know I'm gonna be playing with somebody I know tomorrow and I don't have to play them. Like Sierra, she did that twice with Sam Chen and me. But um, we out here, we might get points. Who knows? 
we'll see. <laughs> Uh, I got. I, we, I think this is a good idea. This is what we gotta do. Oh yeah. Not just not just on TikTok shall we be famous, but on the family feuds, the onesies, the pink hair, the Pokemon. It's it's just destiny. It's a shoe We're just gonna have to go. That's it's just it's happening. We're actually going. We're actually going. We're gonna do that. There's no way. Okay. I'm meeting Steve Harvey today. This is it. We're meeting Steve Harvey, Sierra. I ruined your TikTok. I'm sorry. I found the leaks. This is illegal. We need to get out of here. We need to leave. Oh, what a crazy day. So I'm back at the hotel room chilling. I have two rounds left and then we out of here, we're gone. We're gonna watch the finals and get going. Holy cannolis guys, I'm so sorry. I've been so terrible about recording today. It was, it was like all like a digital dash. So I woke up like, I wanna say an hour before I had to be at the venue. Um, Cause I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. So we did that and then we played one round and we lost and I knew that was going to happen. So we were at a contention for points and I went to my next round, just gave my opponent a win and I called it a day because um, apparently I didn't have enough time to drop. So I went to the Pokemon Center, grabbed a couple things and we are on our way to hotel, our hotel to check out, finally. And then, I don't know, we'll do some trading and go uh, check out you know, some cool stuff. So uh, let's see what we do today. Japanese players, which are really, really cool. I, this is one of my favorite things um, about worlds. There's so many different like languages and cultures, and all the Japanese people bring all of like the sleeves and the and the play mats and deck boxes and everything from uh, Japan Pokemon Center, which you can't get in America, which is super cool. Um, there's some promos I see every once in a while that I, I need so much, and I was able to get uh, some of them, so I'm so excited. Um, for the promos, I was able to get some of the Scream. Um, it was like at a... Uh, I believe it was like an art museum in Japan they were handing them out. I got two, I think out of the four question mark. I know there's a Rowlet and a Pikachu, but I was able to get Eevee and Psyduck and they are so, so cute. And I'm a super huge fan of art museums and supporting them and stuff like that. I, I dig it. So it's really cool that Pokemon did this, especially with the, the famous Scream photo. And the Eevee is so cute and I do not expect anything less from Psyduck. Uh, another thing, that I got was, you got, you guys guessed it, I know you guys know, and it's the Dawn of Piplup. No! I know we're about to get this so, like, I don't know when, but I was able to trade for it, but, and it was a good deal, and look at it, look how sassy Piplup is! And for all you guys that don't know, Piplup and my Vaporeon are like my top two, I don't think I could pick one or the other, um, so I was super excited to get that. Um, I also got a uh, shiny Lucario because look how badass it looks. It looks so cool. Um, and then it was really cool. One of the vendors gave me this for free and it was a Japanese uh, championship series promo card. So that was really cool. Um, so we have a, a little bit more to do today. I think I'm gonna get some bubble tea. We're gonna watch the finals, closing ceremony, and it's, it's gonna be awesome, guys. So let's go. Super close seats. I think this is the best we're gonna get before finals. We're gonna stay here for the entire closing ceremony. I'm super stoked. 
Um, I'm not sure if you can see that well up there, but those are the fossils that I was talking about. They're, they're huge. Um, and they have a whole bunch of stuff going on. Wait, where will the event be next year?